All right, going to show you yet more proof of the Satanism and Baal worship that goes on inside the Satanic cult that is the Jesuit order. So it's going to go full screen now. And this is this is from a couple months back, but it shows that even the Jesuit schools where you're trained to become a Jesuit are rampant with Satanic child abuse and pedophilia. So it says six more former students. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, computer's lagging. Six more former students alleged sexual abuse by priests at Dallas Jesuit Prep. Why is my computer lagging so much? Weird. But anyway, uh, so it says, a lawsuit reveals new allegations of sexual abuse of minors by Jesuit priests in the late 1970s. See, my thing is still, still lagging for some reason. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, including a former principal and president of the school. And this is that Jesuit school. So even the staff are, are in on the abuse as well. Six former students at Jesuit College Preparatory School of Dallas have joined a lawsuit saying they were abused by priests when they were enrolled in school there. The latest plaintiffs br uh, bring to aid the number of former students in the lawsuit first filed in Dallas County Civil Court in August 2019 against the school and the Catholic Diocese of Dallas, among others, alleging that they were sexually abused in, early in the early 1980s by five Jesuit prep priests. Not surprising, because the Jesuits are just a bunch of Satanists and Baal worshippers, so it makes sense that the Jesuit Satanists are going to abuse kids. Six of the eight plaint plaintiffs, I think still lagging, were uh, using pseudonyms in the lawsuit. All eight men say they were abused during a time in the late 1970s and 1980s when a cluster of priests that have since been found credibly accused of sexual assault taught, counseled, or coached students at the exclusive Jesuit prep according to the records. Well, there's probably all kinds of devils inside that Jesuit school, so it was not surprising that the priests would be inclined to be the pedophiles that they were. The priests named as defendants in the suit include the Reverend Peter Callery. What does the Bible say about reverend? Who who is who is reverend? Who is who is that title given to? The word reverend only appears once in the Bible, and it's not a title for preachers. Uh, or is it? I can't remember the exact chapter. I think it's uh, is it Psalms one forty eight? Let me just search it up. I forget the exact verse. I think it's somewhere in Psalms. Yeah, sorry, Psalms 100, Psalms 111, verse 9. This is the only time where the word reverend appears in the, in God's word, and it's a title for God. Psalms 111, verse 9. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name, referring to God. So what are you doing calling yourself reverend so-and-so? Because reverend is a title for God. It's, it's uh, referring to his name. Holy and reverend is his name. Uh, Psalms 111 verse 9. So calling yourself reverend is not uh, appropriate if you're a preacher because that, that's a that's one of God's titles. Just like how in uh, John, this is another thing the Jesuits and Catholics are in violation of. John chapter 17. Uh, John 17, where's the exact verse? Uh, where's the verse? So, uh, yeah, I can't remember the exact verse. Let me just search it up real quick. I have a very bad memory, so I do apologize. Father. Yes, yeah, John 17, verse 11. That was the verse I was looking for. John 17, verse 11. So, because the, the priests and the popes are called Holy Father, well, who is that title for? Uh, John 17, 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may, that they may be one as we are. Good proof text against the pagan trinity. They may be one as we are. God the Father and Jesus Christ are one being. They're one person. They're not three persons of the Catholic trinity. The Catholic Jesuit Trinitarians claim. But look at that. Holy Father. It's a title for God. God the Father. Not any man. Not the Pope. So it's blasphemy when you call yourself. It's blasphemy when you call yourself Reverend and Holy Father. It's, uh, blasphemy, which of course the Catholic Church is Mystery Babylon. So uh, the Catholic Church is obviously full of names of blasphemy. Anyway, um, Vincent. Uh, so he was, a, he was a teacher, the Reverend Peter Callery. He was a teacher and a wrestling coach. Why is my computer still? Why is my mouse still lagging? 
Anyway, uh, Vincent Malatessa, a teacher and counselor, stop highlighting, teacher and counselor, uh, who was removed from the Jesuit order in 2002, and Robert Crisp, a former diocesan priest. Three deceased priests are also named in the lawsuit. The Reverend Patrick Koch, a former principal and president of the school who died in 2006. Reverend Donald, and he's also in hell right now too, because if you're a Jesuit, that's a ticket to hell if you don't get saved. Uh, the Reverend Donald Dickerson, a former teacher and administrator who died in 2018, and Benjamin Smile, a teacher at Jesuit Prep who died in 2004, all three of the which are in hell right now because they were Jesuits. Uh, Dickerson was added to the list of defendants in an amending file made Wednesday. The lawsuit alleges that the Dallas Diocese, Jesuit, the Jesuit Dallas Prep, and Jesuits U.S. Central and Southern Province, the priest's spiritual order, all failed in their duty to protect the students, allowing the abuse by the priest to occur, to occur over several years and then covering it up. Typical of the satanic bail worshipping Jesuits and the satanic bail worshipping Catholic Church. They keep covering up their pedophilia and abuse. Uh, quote, one of the most troubling aspects of the case is it, it, that is, it is evident that the Jesuit order had knowledge of some of these priests that, that some of these priests had accusations lodged against them for sexually inappropriate conduct and even abusing young boys. Unquote, said a statement from the plaintiff's attorney, Charlia uh, Ados and Brett Walker. Hope I'm saying these names right, but I don't know. Quote, despite these allegations, the Jesuit order placed these priests or allowed them to remain as teachers at Jesuit prep school in Dallas, thus exposing the students to pedophiles. Not surprising because pedophilia is rampant in the Jesuit order and the Catholic priesthood at large. Uh, Therese uh, Mayerhoff, a spokeswoman for the Jesuits of the U.S. Central and Southern Province, declined to comment about the specific allegations. She said that Father Callery was rem Father Callery. Notice that it has a capital. Why can I not? Why is the thing like? Why is the thing lagging while I highlight? Notice how it has a capital F there too. Father, calling a priest father. What does the Bible say about that? Most people know this verse, and Catholics get triggered over this verse. The Jesuits get triggered over this verse because they don't it goes against their, their uh, system. This is Jesus speaking. And call no man your father. This is Matthew twenty three nine. Uh, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. And of course, the Jesuits and Catholics will respond by saying, well, you call your parents, you call, you call your dad father. Yeah, but I'm not calling him that as a religious title. What Jesus is forbidding here is calling your the priest or calling somebody father as a religious title. That's forbidden. You can call your parents mother and father, but calling a pastor father as a religious title is forbidden. And Catholic priests are in violation of that. So yeah, so Callery was removed from public ministry according to accordance with the policies of the order, and quote, he will not resume ministry until the lawsuit is resolved. Jesuit Prep uh, President Michael A. Erasium also, de also de declined to discuss specific allegations in a brief statement. Quote, we wish to reiterate that we continue to expand our compassion and support for all victims of sexual misconduct and abuse, unquote. Then why does school cover up the pedophilia? Disgusting. Uh, Erasing said, quote, we have previously stated that it will not be appropriate to discuss the specifics of the lawsuit. The, the, the uh, Dallas Diocese said in a statement that it is a separate entity from the Jesuit prep, which was founded by the Jesuit order, which is the satanic bail worshiping cult that is the Jesuit order. Uh, quote, the claim as to Robert Crisp is the only one in involving a Jesuit or a diocese of a Dallas priests in the lawsuit. Uh, unquote. The statement said, quote, the other claims asserted in the current lawsuit do not pertain to the Dallas Diocese priests, unquote. And you get the whole picture, but basically the Jesuits are just a bunch of sex perverts, a lot of them, and a lot of them are guilty of being a bunch of pedophiles and perverts, because when you're founded by bail worshipping and paganism and Satanism, you're going to have all kinds of perversion, which is exactly what the Jesuit order was started on. So I just wanted to show you guys that pretty disgusting, but more proof of the Satanism and wickedness that goes on inside the satanic bail worshipping Jesuit order. So don't be deceived by the Jesuits and don't be deceived by Catholicism, uh, both of which are just a bunch of pagan satanic cults. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.